Kitsins Cathedral in Nairobi in memory of the late Safaricom Company CEO Bob Colimo. Business was not as usual as all nationwide Safaricom shops remained closed between 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. in his honor. Muhaki Njogu bring, uh, brings us accounts that marked this particular day. Hundreds of Kenyans gathered at All Saints Cathedral in Nairobi in celebration of Bob Colimo's life. The former Safaricom CEO died at the age of 61 after battling leukemia, which is cancer of the blood, for two years. Some of the leaders who attended and condoled with Bob's family were His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta, Deputy President William Ruto, and former United Kingdom Prime Minister Tony Blair. President Uhuru Kenyatta eulogized him as being a very selfless man who loved Kenya as his own country. In celebrating a great life, a man who one can say truly lived life and lived that life not just in service of himself, his family, but in service of society. And he has made a contribution, as some have said here, greater than many who are born, bred, and lived in Kenya throughout their lives. On his part, Deputy President William Ruto commended Bob for his wisdom in dealing with national matters. Bob Colimo was not just a business leader in Kenya. He was not just a successful corporate business leader in Kenya. He inspired and influenced government policy. Wamboi Kolimo, who is Bob Kolimo's widow, celebrated him as an individual who upheld human dignity to the highest caliber. And in a wave to honor the great man's achievement, all Safaricom shops countrywide remained closed between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Bob Colimo served as the company's CEO for 10 years since the year 2010 to the year 2019, and his greatest contribution towards Safaricom growth goes without saying. Some of the key achievements during his tenure are company's turnover grew by 190%, net income grew by 319%, Total tax paid to government grew to 551 million shillings. Price per share grew from 2.5 shillings up to a high of 30.5 shillings. And most importantly, the overall valuation of the company grew to 200 billion shillings. <laughs>